Alola everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Philly Beats You and in this video we're going to be taking a look at all the berries in Pokemon Sun and Moon from where to find them, how to get them, how to multiply them, and the most important part about it, how to use each berry effectively within the game. Now without further ado, let's get right into this ultimate berry guide. So I found an amazing chart online that breaks down the berries and puts them into different groups. We're going to be taking a look at the restoration ones first. It says when HP falls below 25%, it restores 50% HP, but confuses Pokemon that dislike the flavor. And if you didn't know, guys, there are five flavors in Pokemon. There are spicy, dry, sweet, bitter, and sour flavors. And each one is affiliated with a specific nature. So keep that in mind. The natures go along with the flavors. So you have to have the right natured Pokemon to equip the proper berry. Otherwise, it is going to end up with confusion after restoring its HP. And that is a disadvantage in battle by getting confusion. So we have the Aguave Berry, which is a bitter one. We have the Figgy, which is a spicy berry. The Eel Papa, my favorite name, Berry, which is a sour berry. We have the Leper Berry, which restores 10 PP. The Mago Berry, which is a sweet berry. The Oron, which restores 10 HP. The Citrus Berry restores 25 HP. And the Wiki Berry is a dry berry. So remember again, do not, do not use the wrong berry on the wrong natured Pokemon. I will link that Bulbopedia chart with the proper flavors in the description below. The next one that I did want to look at are the stat reduction berries. Now, these play with EVs, which are effort values, and Pokemon totally can have 510 effort value points. In each individual stat, you are allowed a maximum of 252 effort values. So basically, the point of these berries is, if you made a mistake, maybe you have a really good trained Pokemon and you KO'd another Pokemon that gives you a few effort values and something that you didn't want, these berries will reduce it. Now, let's for example say that I had a Ninetales and I made the mistake of making it a complete physical attacking Ninetales by giving it a lot of um, effort values within its attack. So basically what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to give it a Kelpsy Berry. Now let's say I had... 200 EVs into attack on my Alolan Ninetales. When I give the Kelpsy Berry for the first time, it's going to reduce the 200 down to 100 effort values. From that point onwards, every other Kelpsy Berry I give will reduce the EVs by 10 each. So it's not like all at once, but if it is above 100 effort values, the first berry you give will drop it down to 100 and every other berry after that will drop it by increments of 10. So you're going to want to keep that in mind when you're using these berries. So let's go over these berries. We have the Greppa Berry, which is a special defense one, which reduces the EVs. Remember, these are all reducing. These do not give you EVs. They reduce EVs. We have the Hondu Berry, which reduces special attack. The Kelpsy Berry, which reduces attack. The Pomek Berry, which reduces HP. Qualet, defense. And the Tamat, Tamato, reduces speed. Now... I suggest that when you do get these berries that you do probably multiply them later, which we will talk about. These are really important berries as well within the game. Now, the next one that I did want to talk about are the stat enhancement berries. These are really cool. It raises a Pokemon stat when the HP falls below 25. We have the Apricot, which raises the special defense. The Ganlon, which raises the defense. The key berry, which raises defense if holder is hit by a physical move. So that's something you want to keep in mind as a nice strategy in the game, as well as the Moranga berry, which says that with special defense if the holder is hit by a special move. We have the Lychee berry that raises attack when the HP falls below 25. The Pedia does the same thing with special attack. And the Salak berry does the same thing with speed when the HP falls below 25. So you have to kind of play around with these on certain Pokemon and come up with your own strategies when equipping these berries. Berries do play a big role, as you can see, in the game. Next one we'll be looking at are the status condition berries. Now these, these are quite, quite important when it comes uh, into battling because these... Having these status conditions are pretty annoying. If your Pokemon gets frozen, paralyzed, slept, confused, poisoned, or burned, it is quite annoying in battle. But equipping these berries will take away that. So if I just got frozen and I was holding an Asper Berry on my Pokemon, well, then the freeze gets cured. Same thing if I was paralyzed, the Cherry Berry takes care of that. If I'm sleeping, the Chester Berry immediately will wake me up as soon as I'm put into a sleep. The Lumberry is really cool as it, it um, any status condition and confusion gets taken off. That's what's cool about the Lumberry. I, that's one of the berries I use a lot. The Petra Berry removes poison. The Person Berry removes confusion. And the Rawist Berry removes the burn. 
The next category that we're going to be looking at are the damage negation barriers. And basically, it decreases damage taken by the holder from a super effective move type. This is also something to keep in mind as a strategic option when you're battling in Pokemon, as if you know its main weakness, here are the berries that do it. Barbiri reduces the steal from a super effective move, Charty Rock, Chilean Normal, Chople Fighting, Koba Flying, Kober Dark, Haban Dragon, Kasib Ghost, Kibia Poison, Aka Fire, Pesho Water, Payapa Psychic, Rindo Grass, Roselli Fairy, Shuka Ground, Tanga Bug, Wakan Electric, and Yachi Ice. So these are there. There's a berry for every single type. So keep that in mind as well when using these berries. And like I said, these are all the berries in total that you can use to your advantage when you're in battle or when you're trying to Eevee breed. But all berries have importance in the game is what I want to make you guys know. Because sometimes a lot of us have bad habits of just like stacking up the berries nonstop in our inventories and not really using, to, using them to the best of our ability. So here you go. Here is the nice list. And I hope you guys are able to use those berries to the best of your ability as well. Now, the next thing that I did want to talk about is where to find all these berries. Now, Cerebi has an amazing list of where to find each berry. Uh, it goes by the routes and lists them as well. We can take a look over here. The berry fields um, has certain berries. Route 2, Route 3, Route 4, Route 5, and the different routes as well on the islands. And some routes have different categories of berries. So you want to keep that in mind, which is um, something interesting as well. Uh, if you want to go for the EV berries, I suggest you go on Route 10, as you can see. The e so they have some EV ones over here as well, EV reducing ones. Um, we have Route 16, Route 17, Secluded Shore. So berries basically are on every route uh, in the game, are in different locations. Uh, so you want to go farm them from these areas uh, in the game. I will also link this down in the description below. Everything will be linked, guys, so do not worry. I will also put timestamps in the video if you want to scroll through them and take a look at what each route or area has in terms of berry as well. Now, the final thing that I did want you guys to look at is the importance of the berries. Now, uh, on Isle of Penny, in the Poke Palago is where you will be growing your berries. Now, this is very important as you need to rank this up if you want to efficiently produce a lot of berries. Now, on rank one, you have a maximum of six berry trees. Rank two, 12 berry trees. And rank three, 18 berry trees. That is a lot of berry trees on its own, but but it sometimes takes 24 to 72 hours for each berry to properly grow, the berry tree. And each berry tree is going to yield a different amount of berries as well. So let's take a look as well on those things, on the berries that yield certain things. So we have the aguave berry. And these are the berries that take 24 hours to grow. Of course, if you give some pokey beans to this area of the aisle, it will it will speed up it quite a bit. So the Agua Berry yields 3 to 9, the Asper 4 to 12, Blunk does the same, Cherry, Chesto, the Corn Berry does about 3 to 9, the Figgy 3 to 9, Ipapa Berry 3 to 9, Lepa Berry 4 to 12, the Mago Berry is also 3 to 9, Oron 4 to 12, Pecha, a lot of these a lot of these going down are 4 to 12, then we go down to the Wiki Berry, the Barberi Berry, the Charty Berry, Yields 2 to 6 for some of these berries as well. I like the ones that yield a lot. The Greppa Berry, the Hobbin Berry is a small one. Uh, it's in the 48-hour range now. We jumped from the 24-hour berries to the 48-hour berries. Um, so you're going to keep that in mind too with the time of what berries you want to um, put your effort into. I suggest really when you're looking at these berries that you really focus on the, thing, the ones that actually take a very long time. Uh, working on those... Are really important as you can store up on those first and then the easy ones are pretty simple as it takes just a simple 24 hours but the 72 hour berries are insane as you can only produce about two to eight of them to two to four of them so you guys that's that's pretty much it we went over of course the categories of the berries we went over the locations of the berries and we went over the ability of growing the berries in the pokey pelago so keep that in mind when it comes to berries use this to the maximum efficiency within the game and i really hope that this ultimate berry guide was very useful to you guys because I know that I don't want to use any berries and uh, leave them in my inventory and not put them to use. So I hope put your berries to use, guys. I hope you guys can do that. Uh, I'm glad to bring you this guide. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. My name is Philly Beats You, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. I'm out.